All right, so we've got a little experiment rigged up with some light bulbs here, and we're going to use the AMM1 against some flukes, and we're going to show that you, the AMM1 is the only tool in this price range that can measure power factor, and that's what you need to know to actually get watts. So you can rig this up yourself if you want to test your own favorite power measuring device or clamps or however your method is, and you can see that without this power factor thing how off you can be. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, incandescent bulbs, and we've got in this chain here, we've got six light bulbs. There's four 60 watters and 275 watts for a total of 390 watts. So we're going to plug it in. We're going to read the current and the voltage on the flukes. We'll do the math for amps times volts. And then we'll look at what the AMM1 says for both uh, watts and VA. And then we're going to switch out to the CFL bulbs because these ones have circuitry inside and these will have some power factor issues like a speaker would and then we'll see how off it, it can be. All right, so let me go ahead and turn these on. Turn on the AMM1. So there's VA and power factor. These are incandescent bulbs, so they should be almost 100%. All right, let's get the fluke readings here. So the fluke ammeter says 3.307, and the fluke voltmeter is not reading correctly at the moment. Let's get it hooked up right. Okay, fluke voltmeter is 121 point. 7 volts, that's just the wall voltage. 121.7. So I'll take the calculator here. 3.307 times 121.7, 402 watts. But it's not watts as we know, it's VA. Okay, 402 VA, it's 390 watts, so we're pretty close. Our tool here says, we can read it. Bouncing around a bit, it's about uh, 395 to 400 VA and watts 379. So we said, uh, let's say 395 here and 379. All right, so if you look at our, our results here for the incandescent bulbs, the actual bulbs themselves are 390 watts according to the bulb ratings, our fluke meters like a clamping style method, gave us 402, so it's pretty close, pretty accurate. Our tool said 395 and on VA mode and 379 on watts mode. So they're all really close to each other. And uh, now we'll switch over to the compact fluorescent bulbs and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the CFL screwed in. As you can see, they say 27 watts on them. We have six of them here in our little rig. We've got it written down here on the paper. 27 watts, six of those should be 162 watts. So is that what our fluke is gonna say? Our flukes, if we multiply, are we gonna get 162? Let's find out. bulbs stabilize for a second they as they start to warm up they start drawing more and more power as they start warming up so we'll wait till they settle here a little bit you can see how that current just keeps climbing once these things are fully bright they should show up They're pretty calmed down. I'm going to just take, uh, all right, so our ammeter, there we go, they're stable. Our ammeter is 2.25 amps, 2.25, and our voltage is 121.8. So let's do the math on that. Should be 162 watts, right? 
2.25 times 121.8. Oops. 2.25 times 121.8. 274. 274. If there's 162 watts worth of light bulbs. Hmm. All right. Our AMM1. Take some of this light off of it so you can see it better. AMM1 says 254 VA. But what's the power? 159, 158, 159. Over here, so we can see how off that method is. And if your tool is not measuring power factor, whatever tools you're using, it's not going to be right. The bulbs are 27 watts each, it's actually 162 watts. But when you measure it with an ammeter and a voltmeter, you get 274. Our tool says 254 for the VA. It's a little bit of difference there, not much though. But more importantly, 159 watts, the bulbs are rated at 162 watts. We're measuring at actually 159. So you can see our tool measures watts, not VA. There's a difference. If you're doing it this way, it's not right.